Hey mermaids, welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, we are going to be diving into some clean beauty products. I have three different products from the brand Aether Beauty, as well as a ton of new brushes from the brand BK Beauty. So I will be putting those to the test, giving you guys all the specifics about these products, and showing you swatches of all of the palettes that I have from Aether Beauty. And really quickly, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please feel free to do so. It helps me out. And if you are new to my channel, I'm Danny. I am a makeup lover, makeup junkie, and trans woman from Minnesota. Okay, so what I have here from Aether Beauty, I have two eyeshadow palettes and one cheek palette. Now, I purchased these off of the Aether Beauty website. They are available on Sephora's app and website as well. And Sephora currently has a sale running, you know, depending upon what level you are, you can get either 15 to 20 percent off. And I believe Aether Beauty is also running a sale on their website where if you use the code EARTHLOVE, you get 20 percent off of your purchase. It is in celebration of Earth Day, which happened, I'm going to say like four days ago. The sale runs through until 4.30, so the end of this month, the end of April. And I have never tried anything from Aether Beauty before, so I'm really excited about this brand. They are a eco-friendly, sustainably packaged, uh, clean, vegan uh, makeup brand. They are a part of the Clean at Sephora like offering of clean makeup brands. So there's really a lot of thought and attention that goes into the creation of all of their products down to the ingredients. And all of the packaging is fully recyclable. All you have to do is pop out the eyeshadow pans and take off the little elastic band right here and you can recycle the palette. Another really cool thing about the packaging is they don't have a mirror on here and there are no magnets on the palettes which is the reason why these have like little elastic bands on each one and that is to help make the palette fully recyclable when you're done with it so I think that that's a really cool touch it's very earth friendly and in the Aether Beauty line there are a whole bunch of different eyeshadow palettes and two cheek palettes as well as lip products so I have three things here from the brand to try out today. I have the Rose Quartz Crystal Gemstone Palette. Now this retails for $58. It is a palette with 12 shades infused with rose quartz in ultra matte, shimmer, duochrome, and metallic finishes that let you create softly glamorous looks anytime. Highlighted ingredients in the palette is organic and fair trade coconut oil, which creates a buttery smooth texture. Rose quartz gemstone powder helps to diminish the look of wrinkles, redness, and fine lines. Organic rosehip oil supports radiant looking, glowing skin. The palette is vegan, cruelty free, gluten free, and comes in recyclable packaging, which I already said. And each of the shades are either 0.05 ounces, which is 1.5 grams, or the four shades in the center are 0.04 ounces, which is 1.25 grams. And they are in the shades Stardust, which is a light pink shimmer, Sandstone, which is a neutral beige matte, Heartstone, which is a rose pink shimmer, Rose Quartz, which is an antique rose metallic, Scorpio, which is a rose brown matte, Crystalline, which is an antique champagne metallic, Aphrodite, which is a violet gray matte. Grounding, which is a charcoal matte. And then the four shades in the center kind of have more of a duochrome finish to them. So those shades are Reawakening, which is a pink to gold duochrome shimmer. Divine, which is a pink to peach duochrome shimmer. Astart, I believe is how you pronounce the next shade. And that is a lavender to silver blue duochrome shimmer. And then the last shade is Aura, which is a maroon to blue purple duochrome shimmer. 
Oh, and all of Aether Beauty's products are manufactured in the United States. And then the next palette I'm going to talk about is the Joshua Tree Desert Matte Eyeshadow Palette. Now these are 12 shades in an ultra matte finish inspired by the desert landscape in Joshua Tree, which is a park in California. And the really cool thing about this palette is the shades contain citrine powder, which helps with your skin's renewal process, organic hemp seed oil for hydrated, glowing skin, organic coconut oil, and shea butter for uber smooth one swipe application. And the proceeds of this palette goes to the Mojave Desert Land Trust. The shades are Pixie Rock, which is a light sand matte, Poppy, which is a peachy tan matte. Tumbleweed, which is a warm brown matte. Rosewood, which is a maroon brown matte. Citrine, which is a daffodil matte. Ember Glow, which is a sunset orange matte. Prickly Pear, which is an orchid matte. Wildflower, which is a violet matte. Joshua Tree, which is a sage green matte. Agave, which is a blue-green teal matte. Mesquite, which is a bark brown matte. And the last shade in the palette is New Moon, which is a black matte. The palette is $58, contains the same amount of product as the Rose Quartz palette. It's manufactured in the United States. It's vegan, cruelty-free, clean, sustainably packaged, the palette is recyclable once you're done with it, so lots of amazing things going on with this as well. The color story of this palette really speaks to me. These kind of tones are right up my alley. They are some of my favorite tones to play around with, especially the more deeper uh, greens like agave and the sagey Joshua Tree green matte shade, because you know I'm all about greens. And then lastly, I want to talk about the Rose Quartz Crystal Charged Cheek Palette. This comes with three shades. It's $44, and it is a blush palette that comes with two soft focus blushes and one luminous highlighter that build effortlessly and blend seamlessly. They have a radiant finish to them. They're three pressed powders that contain rosehip oil, which provides visibly radiant glowing skin, and ruby powder, which helps to restore hydration levels. Um, they are free of sulfates and parabens, formaldehydes, formaldehyde-releasing agents, phthalates, mineral oil, retinal palamitate, oxybenzone, coal tar, hydroquinone. The shades can be worn individually by themselves or layered together to create a multi-dimensional cheek look. And the shades are infused with crystals to illuminate the skin with light reflective properties. The palette is made with rosehip oil to create a radiant glow. And you get 0.3 ounces worth of product, which is 9 grams. The three shades in the palette are Heart, which is a luminous light pink highlighter. The middle shade is Compassion, which is a peachy pink matte. And then the last shade in the palette is Self Love, which is a rose pink matte. And what I found out from playing around with these products a few days ago is that the quality is really there. The performance is really there. It's on par with some of my other cheek palettes and eyeshadow palettes from other brands that are not clean. I think the matte formulation is probably my favorite part of the eyeshadow palettes because they're really easy to use. They build up effortlessly and they blend seamlessly. So the brushes from BK Beauty that I got are from the Essentials Brush Collection. And in the Essentials Brush Collection, you get four face brushes and five eyeshadow brushes. These are all 100% cruelty-free, vegan fiber. The fibers are more consistent with less breakage, and they have a luxurious feel with flawless performance, superior pickup, and payoff. 
In the set is the 101 Contoured Foundation Brush, which I'm personally the most excited about, the 102 Large Powder Brush, the 103 Bronzer Brush, the 104 Tapered Powder Brush, and then the five eyeshadow brushes that you get are the 201 Blended Crease Brush, the 202 Defined Crease Brush, the 203 Shader Brush, the 204 Smudget Brush, and the 205 Contoured Shader Brush. And just looking at their website, they offer the brushes in separate collections, so you can get the Essentials Brush Collection, which I just realized you have your choice of either the 101 Contoured Foundation Brush or the 106 Round Foundation Brush, so you can choose which foundation brush you want to pick up with that uh, collection. Or you can go with the Essentials Eye Brush Set, which retails for $80. Well, it's on sale right now for $80, but normally $85. The Essentials Brush Collection, by the way, is on sale for $195, but it normally retails for $225. And then they have the Essentials Set of face brushes for $130 right now on sale. Normally it's $140. And then a brush set that I'm particularly interested in is the Precision Brush Collection, which retails for $111, but right now it's on sale for $95. And then there is a set of two foundation brushes, which are the Large Buffer 105 brush and Round Foundation 106 brush. And that set retails for $72, but it's on sale right now for $65. And then they also have all other brushes sold individually. So if you are gravitating more towards one particular brush rather than a set, you can pick them up individually. They also have a beauty sponge, which my best friend Chloe raves about. And that is $12. Speaking of Chloe, she gave me this Essentials brush collection because she got an extra one from the company. So she passed the set of brushes along to me to try out. And I just want to say a big thank you to Chloe. I love you, sister. Thank you, thank you. And I have heard about these brushes for a while now. Um, a lot of my favorite YouTubers like Kate the Great Beauty and Michelle Wong, and Mel Thompson, and Kinky Sweat, they all talk about these particular brushes and rave about them, so I'm excited to try them for myself today. Okay, so to start out my look, I'm just going to prime my eyes really quick, and I am using MAC Painterly Paint Pot to do that, and I'm probably going to use this angled shader brush from BK, this is the 205. like little crusties in the inner corner of my eyes. So flattering. And I did my eyebrows off of camera just to cut that part out of the video. So I'm gonna go into the 201 from BK Beauty and just pick up this lighter nude right here. And we're gonna lay this down as like a base shade. This brush is incredibly soft. The one thing I do have to mention about the Aether Beauty Matte Formulation, it's fantastic, first and foremost. But I feel like it creates a lot of kick up in the palette. So if you're not too careful about how you're dipping your brush in there, you might kick up a lot of powder. And then I'm going to go into the 202 brush and I'm going to pick up this shade right here, which the first shade that I laid down as my base shade is the shade Pixie Rock, and this shade right here is Poppy. And I'm just going to start to work Poppy into the crease. I 
love pointed blending brushes like this because you can apply like a teeny tiny amount of pressure and really get precise with it or you can apply a little bit more pressure and get more of a diffused blend so it's almost like you're getting two different brushes in one going back into the 201 just blowing that out a little bit making sure those edges are nicely blended adding just a little bit more of poppy just to build up that color and let's see then I'm going to go into the shade in the crease which is rosewood and I'm using the point of that brush Kind of nestling that brush into my crease while doing windshield wiper motions. Jumping over to the 201 just to make sure everything is blended together nicely. And then I'm just gonna dive into a little bit of this black shade right here, which is new moon again using the point of that 202 just went like a little bit of depth like right there then I'm going back into tumbleweed and adding just a touch of warmth in the crease over top of that black and adding a little bit more black and kind of taking it like on the outer third of my lid and then with a little bit of poppy on the 201 I'm just going to diffuse all of that in the crease soften it and Reestablish the intensity of that poppy shade. These eye brushes are so incredibly soft. <laughs> I love it. Now, I think I'm going to take this shade right here, which is Ember Glow, and with the 203 brush from BK, we're going to pack this on the center of the lid. And I'm slowly building up that shade and just using the tip of this brush to do a little bit of blending in the crease. That's actually really pretty. Love it. All right, and I think we're ready for some lower lash line work. So I'm going to start by taking tumbleweed again. No, rosewood. I'm sorry. This is rosewood. This one is tumbleweed. <laughs> so I'm going to start by taking rosewood and I'm using the 204 smudger brush from BK. Oh my God, this brush. <sighs> Dude, this brush is fantastic. I love this. It's so soft. Um, anyway, I'm taking that rosewood shade and diffusing my lower lash line and then going in with that 201, blending out the edges of that. And then I think I'm going to go into this shade right here, which is Mesquite, just using the same brush. And this I'm taking closer to my lashes. kind of pushing it into the lashes. And then I'm gonna clean off this brush on my little color switch. And I think like right here, I'm gonna put a pop of purple. And it might be this, which I think this one is wildflower. And I think this will go nicely with the warmth and the orange of the upper lid. Yeah, 
that is absolutely gorgeous. And this is what I love about this particular matte formula from Aether, is that the shades, they're not chalky, they're not dusty, and that's really because of all of the coconut oil, shea butter, and hemp oil in the product. So these go on really smoothly and they're blending super nice. Oh, look at that! That is so pretty. Yes. I love that orange contrasted with this kind of bluish purple. Um, and then let's see, I want to do an inner corner highlight. So I'm going to kind of running out of brushes here, but I'm going to clean off this uh, shader brush from BK. This is the 203. And we're going to go back into that first shade that we used, which is this guy. That is Pixie Rock. And I'm going to use this as my inner corner highlight. The shade is so nice. It reminds me a lot of Blanc Type from MAC, but like the clean, vegan, cruelty-free version of it. I think I'm going to take some of that Pixie Rock shade and dust my eyebrow bone. Um, let's see. I want to add just a little bit of smokiness to the lash line, so I'm going to go into the matte black in the palette, which is New Moon, and I'm just going to tap that along with that BK smudger brush. And I'm really working that into the lashes, kind of hitting the lashes more than the upper lid. Super pretty. Okay, so I'm at a place where I really like this. So I'm going to stop here. Maybe just add a little bit more of that orange just on the outer part of the lid right here. And I think I'm ready to move on to the Rose Quartz. Okay, so to start out the look in the Rose Quartz palette, I'm going to take this shade right here, which is Scorpio, and I'm picking this shade up on a number 15 brush from Refer. And this I'm just dusting in my crease. And I'm just carrying that same shade up towards the eyebrow in the inner portion of my eye. Okay, and then with a MAC 239 brush, I'm going to go into this bottom shade right here, which is a start. And this is the most interesting, kind of deeper, plummy, shimmery shade. It has a really pretty duochrome shift. Let me try my finger first. Oh yeah, you can definitely pack that on with your finger. And then I think with the 202 by BK, I'm going to go into the deepest shade in the palette, which is this one right here. And that one is called Grounding. And I'm just using the tip of that brush and just wiggling it between those two shades that I laid down earlier and creating some more dimension in the crease. Oh, I love that shade. That just was so effortless, especially with this brush. I feel like these brushes, these um, BK Beauty brushes, just make application so easy. And I'm taking a little bit more of Scorpio, which was that first shade that I laid down in my crease. 
and I'm blending that into uh, grounding, which is the deepest shade in the palette for my inner corner highlight. I'm gonna dip into the shade, which is Rose Quartz, and I'm just gonna tap that along the inner corner. Kind of hitting up the tear duct, and then maybe mixing in a little bit of this one, which is Stardust, just because I want more brightness right there. Yep. Ooh, that's pretty. And then the lower lash line is gonna be super simple. So I'm just gonna take Scorpio again. And then I think I'm also gonna take some of that deeper shade, which is grounding, and just apply that on the lower lash line, just on the outer portion. And this is hella pigmented. Blend this out. And now I'm just going in with some mascara. Okay, so these are the eyes finished. I decided not to do any inner rim eyeliner just because I didn't want to irritate my eyes. They've been really sensitive recently. I decided not to do any lashes either because I just want to show off the shadow, you know? I'm loving both of these looks. They are seriously so pretty. This one is kind of ethereal and more dreamy. And then this one is more of like, ba-bam, like super pretty and vibrant, but still incredibly wearable. So, I'm going to zoom you out and we're going to put on the rest of the face makeup. For my primer, I'm going to use the Murad Invisibler Perfecting Shield. This has a broad spectrum SPF of 30, and this is supposed to blur, prime, and protect. This is one of my favorite, favorite face primers. It's like a jelly kind of consistency. And I think we're ready for some foundation, so I'm just gonna put some on and we will finally try this contoured foundation brush. This has a really cool shape to it. You can use the base of the brush to do more of your blending and buffing motions and then the tip of the brush is really good for more of those kind of like swipey motions. So it's almost like you're getting two brushes in one. You can also pat the foundation in as well. And I need to get laser hair removal so bad. I've been so lax about electrolysis and laser hair removal and doing all of that. <laughs> Haven't had any of that done in like a year and a half to two years. And I'm just using up an oldie <laughs> as far as my foundation goes. This is the Infallible Pro Glow in the shade 203. I think this is more of a shade that I used to use during the summertime because it is a little bit bronzy. And I might have to use a light concealer to kind of balance that out. But this brush is really nice. Putting on the product really, really nicely. And it's so soft. Oh my god. Like, literally, it feels like a little bunny paw, like pouncing on your face. And Chloe just texted me, trying to blend this foundation down my neck because it is not my shade. Maybe in June or July it'll be my shade. Or maybe after this pandemic is over, it'll be my shade. <laughs> because I have been indoors a lot, not going anywhere. All right, I'm going to try and balance out my skin tone really quick by using a lighter concealer since the foundation shade was a little too deep. So I'm gonna go in with C6 Magic Star Concealer from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. 
and just dot that underneath the eye. And I'm also going to do just a little bit of sculpting with this. And I need, definitely need some more coverage around my neck. I love this concealer. It is so good. And it's lighter than the foundation, so it's doing exactly what I want it to do. I think I'm going to put some of that on the center of my forehead. Boop. Boop. <laughs> X marks the spot. <laughs> It's almost like I use that foundation as kind of like a contour. <laughs> I mean, because you can see just a little bit of definition and warmth right there. All right, let's blend out this under eye concealer before it fully sets. So normally I would set my face with a crap ton of powder, but I feel like I don't need it. I'm going to powder. I'm just going to powder really lightly. And I really want to use this brush. This is the 102 from BK Beauty. So I'm just going to pick up some loose setting powder and just lightly dust my face. Oh my god, this brush. I could sit here and do this all day. This brush is so soft. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that loose setting powder on the 201 brush from BK. And I'm going to dust my under eyes and fully set that concealer. And I think now we're ready for blush and highlight. So let's see, with the 104, I am going to first go into this shade right here in the Crystal Charge Cheek Palette, which is called Compassion. I'm just going to apply some of that blush. I love this shade. These blushes are hella pigmented, so you only need to just lightly tap into the palette. And then right on the apples of the cheeks, I think I'm going to take this one, which is Self Love, just for a little bit of brightness. And then I'm going to use the 103, I think this is their bronzer brush but I'm gonna use it to just blend everything together. This is another brush from BK Beauty. I'm like loving the way my face makeup is looking today. Okay, and then I think we're ready for the highlight. So I'm gonna use a Real Techniques 402 brush to highlight with. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's pigmented. Look at that. That is so pretty. Is it really about the storm? <laughs> this is a gorgeous highlighter. Like, dude, my skin looks so dewy. How you doing? And then I'm just gonna blend that a little bit more into the blush and other cheek products. And then for the lips, I'm going to do something really simple and just add Fenty Gloss Balm and Fenty Glow to the lips. Okay, you guys, and this is a final look with everything on. On this side, we have the Joshua Tree palette from Aether Beauty. On this side, we have the Rose Quartz palette, also from Aether Beauty. And then I'm wearing the Crystal Charge Cheek palette, both blushes and the highlighter. And I'm loving it. Like, honestly, I'm loving this look. I love both sides. Um, this side is a little bit more dreamy. This side is a little bit more ba-bam. Like, 
Here I am, here's some color. Here is a summertime smoky look for you. And I'm seriously obsessed with this highlighter. The BK Beauty brushes performed incredibly well. I really love the eye brushes. They are super soft. You can tell a lot of thought and attention was put into these brushes. I think my standout favorites as far as the essential brush collection goes uh, with the face brushes, obviously the 101 contoured foundation brush is amazing. If you have not tried this brush yet, definitely pick one up. It's fantastic. It put on my foundation so flawlessly. And I really like this little pointed powder brush right here. This is the 104. I'm not really sure what this one is called, but I used it for blush and it's fantastic. Love the powder brush. It's super soft. The bronzer brush worked really great for blending all of my face products together and kind of giving a last blend. And then I think the eye brushes are fantastic. I used all of them. I really do like all of them a lot. The 203 was a really great packing brush. I freaking love this 204 brush, especially for lower lash line work and doing kind of like a smoky liner with eyeshadow on the upper lid. This pointed crease brush absolutely obsessed with. It's fantastic. Love this guy right here. This is the 201. This is kind of an all-around blending brush. I use this underneath my eyes to set my concealer, but then I also used it on this side to blend in that first shade, and it worked really great for that. I used the 205 to apply my eyeshadow primer, and it worked really well for that. I could also see myself using this on the lower lash line. All around, these brushes from BK Beauty are fantastic, and I highly recommend them. They worked really well for me, and I'm probably going to pick up some more. And then all of the products from Aether Beauty are a home run for me. I'm absolutely in love with them. My favorite out of the three is the Joshua Tree palette just because I love the color story. Like this color story is so freaking beautiful. It's like me encapsulated in an eyeshadow palette. The formulation as far as their matte eyeshadows goes is fantastic. Really easy to build up, really easy to blend out. And then this Rose Quartz eyeshadow palette is also a home run for me. If you like cooler tones, you're gonna love this. If you like duochrome shades, you are gonna absolutely love these four shades here in the center because they are gorgeous. And I could totally see myself using this shade right here on the cheekbones as a highlight. I honestly liked every single thing I tried. Thank you for watching through to the end of this video. If you did, I really appreciate it. Feel free to like, subscribe, and comment down in the comment section below. And tell me if you're interested in picking up any of these products. Stay safe and stay healthy, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!